Thanks, Mark. And by the way, I quit. The top level Rhode Island administrators are getting raises. Doesn't that make you feel all warm and fuzzy? The salaries could be raised anywhere from 3% to 19% in select corners of state government. Some of these raises are pretty straightforward, like with Ken Wagner, the state's commissioner of elementary and secondary education, who is getting an extra six grand a year based on a provision in his contract. But there are at least three proposed raises that are being questioned on their legality. Three full-time members of the state's rate-setting Public Utilities Commission, or PUC, were slated for four pay grade bumps to, quote, bring their salaries more into line with similar commissions in other states, unquote. For example, former U.S. Attorney and PUC Chairwoman Meg Curran is scheduled to go from over $117,000 a year to a little over $122,000 a year. Now, though, she's on a new higher, funner salary ladder, which could pay her over $136,000. The other two PUC members are lesser salaries, but all above $100,000 a year. The whole legality issue comes down to a two-pay grade limit for unclassified employees. Right now, those increases are on hold, but meanwhile, the State Department of Transportation is seeking to create newer and higher paying job titles so that more people can be paid absurd amounts of money. I'm sure working for the government is a high stress, high responsibility job, and you should be compensated fairly. But if you're going to work for the state, you shouldn't expect to get rich off of it. So why exactly do people need to be paid above and beyond $100,000 a year? when it's our tax money that's paying for it. Mark?